Wow, what's that? What's that? I'm already on my key, creating the ambience, and then the singer sings a different key that scatters the whole service. That's what a whole lot of you singers do in church, and it's not correct. Prior to this service, we've had a rehearsal, and then we rehearsed on key C sharp. But now I'm in church, I'm playing C sharp, and my singer is singing on a different key. That is totally wrong. So you need to learn how to listen to the key of the musicians before jumping into the song, and then we want to teach you how. If I play a key on the piano, you have to be able to resonate this key in your mind. Do, and then if if possible, hum it. And then you start singing that song. So singer, let's try it and let's see. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the shade. So you see the singer had to pronounce that hmm inside before she starts singing. Now you necessarily must not do the hmm outside. No, you can be even doing thank you, Jesus, thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. While in your mind you have done that hum. When I say do hum, don't just do a casual hum. No. Do something similar that looks like the do that the musician is playing on. So let's try our final song and let's see how of a miracle it is. So you see, the singer had to pronounce that hmm inside and then get on my key and then start singing. So I will encourage you, a whole lot of singers, if you are not being able to sing on keys yet, get a keyboard this for you. Let him play as many keys. Listen to the key. Pronounce do inside of you. Pronounce hmm inside of you and then sing. And then practice this often and then it will make it better out of you. My name is Maxi Music and I have Jessica here with me on this tutorial. I say shout out to Rise Up Media. We use on my camera and sound. Much love.